You know what really cracks me up? <clears throat> Is when people think that they're sneaky. But the problem with being sneaky is that they're always going to get caught in the end. So, I went on that Meet Me app. And, yeah. I just find it very funny that somebody would, like, try to be sneaky all the time. Like, I don't, I can't, I can't even count how many times I've caught him doing stuff. Because of another woman. Because of a dating site. I cannot count. I would have to like go back on my videos. And look at them. You know. And the funny part. Is that he always thinks he's never going to get caught. Whenever you got a person that thinks it's funny to do stuff on the down low. Bringing up your family as an excuse to what he wanted to do. Just excuse after excuse. No explanation. You know what? And it goes the same thing. It, it does not matter. If, if, if you are the perfect sneaky person, you are going to get caught. And, I don't know how many times, like... One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. I think seven times I caught him doing shady stuff. He comes, like, he leaves me, then he keeps going back and forth. Because he thinks he's sneaky. And it, do, it doesn't matter how well you think you're going to be sneaky. The truth will reveal itself. And it will come to the light. So if you're trying to be sneaky, they will always get caught no matter what. And then they don't know what to do. They'll like tuck their tail in between their legs. And now this shows me... That I'm not the problem. I'm not the issue. It's all on him. Because honestly. If if you were not wanting to be with me. You should have just told me straight up forward. And he never should have brought up my family. Into the excuse. He should have been mean enough to tell me. But. <laughs> ever since I went on that app. He's like disappeared. Can't find him. Because he got caught. Motherfucker got caught. And it's always, like I said, it's a person, place, or a thing, or it's a dating app. I mean, it's like, why do you have to keep running back to me when shit don't work out between you and a woman on a dating site? He could be like on anything. He's also on... on K-I-K. Um, all other dating sites. I can guarantee you. Every time he's left me and came back. I can guarantee you. He's on Facebook. Talking. You know how some people are. And he thinks he's a G-O-double-E. I can't even say that right. But. You know what I mean. He thinks he's so slick. He thinks he's a slick cool cat. But he's not. And uh. I kind of find it very funny. It's like I'm always catching him. Doing something. So. That means. He can't blame me. For anything. And I can't blame him on anything. But the truth revealed itself. It had nothing to do with my family. It had to do with him giving bullshit excuses so that he can go on a dating app. That's why he wanted to cause unnecessary drama. Wanted to cause unnecessary conflict so he can have an excuse 
to do whatever he wanted. But, you know, messing with somebody's head and heart and mind and soul and body like that. If you're wanting to stay gone, then why do you keep coming back? It's like a really messed up pattern. You do not love me. You are not deeply in love with me. Because if you were, you wouldn't be pulling this shady shit. You would be straight up. You would be a man about it. You would have the man balls to be up front. But he don't. He runs and hides. He runs away from his problems. Because he doesn't want to face it like a man should. But eventually, it's going to catch up to him. He gets mad. Because I find out what he's pulling and, you know what, that's not my problem and that's not my issue. Maybe he needs to stop treating people like shit. Using them. Abusing them. But, there is a difference. Abusing somebody is how the way you treat them. It's not always hitting. It's how the way they treat you. And lately here, I've noticed he likes to abuse me emotionally and mentally. Because he likes to mess with people's heads. He likes to mess with people's hearts. He's never going to grow up. And he wanted to work things out. No, he didn't. He just wanted to use me, get whatever he wanted, and then get out the damn door. You know? <laughs> Only he can get himself right to act right. Nobody is not going to teach him how to love. He needs to do it on his own. But what I was... I, I need to go back to what I was saying because I'm like everywhere. If, if you truly love somebody, you don't pull the crap that you do. You don't lie to a person. You don't try to manipulate a situation. You don't try to use excuses like trying to use my family, use something, you don't do that. If you are truly deeply in love with somebody, but you're not showing it, you're showing a complete different, different way. Kind of in a messed up way. But just like I said, I really, I really don't care. Because when people are trying to be sneaky, they will always get caught in the end. That is their problem. Their issue. And I'm pretty sure. Nobody likes to get caught. On what they pulled was shady. Or that was really shitty. Towards you. They don't like getting caught. Well let's be honest here. Nobody does. But I've caught my ex-fiance when he would give a bullshit excuse. I knew that it had to do with a dating app or another person. Like I said, it's his patterns. He's never going to grow up. He's never, he, he's really never going to be the man for me. And, you know, maybe if he would, like, grow the fuck up, then maybe my family would accept him. But he's causing all this shit. And then he wonders why people don't want to be friends with him. Some people don't want to be around him. It's because I am pretty damn sure Aaron Justin Ziegler wouldn't like it if people started treating him how the way he was treating me. Oh, I can guarantee you, he'll be like, well, what the fuck? Who in the hell do you think you... You know? I am pretty damn sure. He wouldn't like it if somebody was playing him all the time. Playing that back and forth. Going on dating sites behind his back. Would he like that? Hell no. He would be getting mad. He would flip out. Like any person should. But just like I said, he's never going to change. And he 
And I have to accept this is hard because I loved him and I cared for him. I have to accept that this man does not love me. He loves to abuse me emotionally and mentally. He does stuff that just is unnecessary. I I loved him. I cared about him. But his actions are showing me that he fucking hates me. He doesn't love me. He just likes to abuse me. That's all it really is. He likes to mess with people's heads, their heads, their hearts, their mind, their body and soul. And that shit's not funny. Because I can guarantee you, one of these days, Aaron Justin Ziegler is going to run into a female... That's going to pull the same shit on him. A player can play another player very well. It's possible. And I'm pretty sure, you know, the, the old saying, remember all the bullshit that somebody does to you, eventually it will come back to them. I mean, it's like, why? Why treat me like shit for no reason? I loved him. I cared for him. But I need to accept deep down. He does not love me. He is not deeply in love with me. He does not give a shit about me. And he does not care about me. I have to accept that. And it hurts. But I have to for the sake of me. Because I know for a fact since he got caught. He... He does not have a free conscience. Like, he is guilty as fuck. And I really don't care. Because now, you know, like, I've I've been sleeping very, very well. But when a person has to constantly lie to you, manipulate a situation to get what they want, then, you know, sometimes, it, it's not, it's not nice to play with people's heads and hearts. It's not nice. So just like I said. The truth. Came into the light. And I know for a fact that I'm not the issue. And I'm not the problem. So. And I'm not going to let him blame me. For all the shit he's pulled on me. Because I know for a fact. That he's going to try. To play the victim. He's going to try to tell all these women. That, you know, Emma was shitty towards me. Emma was this. Emma was that. And I really, I really don't care what they have to say. Because they're not me. They didn't have to deal with it. They didn't live with it. They've never dealt with it for three years. But just like I said. I'm gonna do me. And he's guilty. You know, trying to be sneaky. You will get caught no matter who you are. Have a good night.